Okay guys, so in this video is our part two for mathematical literacy paper one. So in this video, we are going to cover the calculation of gross income and taxable income. So make sure that you watch the entire video so that you can learn something that you didn't know before. Okay, let's start with our question. So the question paper that we have is a question two, which was written on Eastern Cape, September 2022. Okay. Question 2.3.1, they say that explain the term gross income in this context. Okay. Question 2, they want us to show some calculation. And question 2.3.3, they also want us to calculate a taxable income. Okay. Let's look at the scenario first. Then we do the calculation. Mrs. Nande is a 53 years old and in a gross income of 39,486 per month during 2021 and 2022 tax year. A non-taxable monthly deduction of 7.5% was made from her salary and paid into pension fund, which means that when we calculate her taxable income, we must first deduct pension fund of 7.5%. Okay? Then table of taxable income, they say that brackets number one, a person who in between one round and 216,200 must be taxed 18%. Okay. But on brackets two, a person who in between 216 to 337 and 800 must be taxed 38,916 plus 26% of the amount which is above 216,000. 200 okay we're gonna do that when we do the calculation then after that we also have a tax rebate table so a person uh, who is in any age must uh, we have to deduct amount of 15,714 but those who are older than 65 we have to deduct 15,000 and 8,000 those who are above 75 years we also have to deduct 15,000, 8,000, and another 2,000. Okay? Simple as that. Number one, explain the term gross income. What is gross income? Number, question number three, 2.3.1. When we said a gross income, This is his or her salaries and other income before deduction. Okay, so actually this is all amount that the person has received before we deduct anything else. Okay. Now, question, the following question, uh, they say that show by calculation that a person who was 75 years older and in 51,100 during 2022 paid no tax, five marks. Guys, uh, we have to show all the calculation in order for us to get that five marks. This is very simple uh, question. The a person who in amount of 151 question 2.3.2 this person is in an amount of 151,100 the first step of course is to, is to check our tax bracket where does this person fall which tax bracket obviously this amount is not above 216 is between 1 and 216 so let's check this amount it's gonna fall under tax brackets number one which means that this person must be taxed 18 percent okay and let's calculate my by 18 percent let's see a taxable income of this person is gonna be how much if you calculate this it's gonna give you amount of 20 
7,198. However, we are not done, guys. Remember, we also have to deduct what? A tax rebase. Remember, this person is older than 75 years, which means that we have to subtract primary, secondary, and tertiary because it's more than 65. Okay? Then, for primary, we are going to deduct amount okay let's just show by a bracket we are going to deduct amount of fifteen thousand seven hundred and fourteen and for secondary because the person qualified because it's more than 65 for secondary okay it's 18 it's eight thousand six hundred and thirteen and for the last one tertiary also qualify it's going to be 2,871. If you take this taxable income and you subtract everything here, you're going to left with zero, which means that this person is not going to pay any tax. Okay? We have proved that. All right. Then the following question, they say that calculate Mrs. Nandes' annual taxable income now we are going back to the scenario that they give us is question 2.3.3 okay now let's check this person is in in how much per per month okay they give us amount per month which is 39,000 486 which we have to multiply by 12 so that we can get annual amount which we can go and compare with what a taxable um, income table okay if you multiply by this you, you're gonna get an annual amount of 473 and 832 okay then remember let's check on the scenario if they say a non-taxable monthly deduction of 7.5 percent was made from her salary and paid into her pension fund so before we subtract all those rebates we have to minus a pension fund okay if you take this amount let's just calculate this separate if you take this amount and you multiply by 7.5 percent because this is already in an annual amount we're just gonna use 7.5 percent only okay then we're gonna get amount which we are going to subtract of 35,537 and 40 cent simple as that all right so then after that um, we have to get amount afterward after we deduct this amount okay if you take this one minus this one now you are going to get amount of 438 294 and 60 cent all right then now we can go and check where does this person fall which brackets okay this person is falling under brackets number three because this amount is between 337 and 467 okay which is brackets number three so under brackets number three they say that this amount this person is going to pay seventy thousand. the first part this person tax will be a seventy thousand five hundred and thirty-two plus a thirty-one percent of amount above what? Above three thirty-seven eight hundred plus thirty-one percent. Okay, now we have to fight to calculate this thirty-one percent. How are we going to do this? Very simple. Very simple. Okay, we are going to compare this amount 
and the one that they said above what three three seven eight hundred okay in other words we are going to say 438 294 comma 60 minus 337 800 okay if you do this calculation you will get amount of 100 okay and the four four ninety four comma sixty okay is plus thirty one percent of this amount okay 70 53 2 which means that we have to calculate the 1 percent of this amount and we're gonna get an amount of 30 1153 and 33 75 3 2 okay if you add these two it can it can now give you the amount of one or one six eight five and thirty three okay but this is not the final answer guys remember we can now go and subtract what a primary rebate this person qualifies for primary rebate but does not qualify for secondary because he's 53 years old and is not older than 65 which means that now we will go and subtract a primary rebate of 15714 okay then after that this person will get 85000 971,33. This is the amount that this person is going to pay. This is now our final answer. Simple as that, guys. So I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and go to a playlist for mathematical literacy. Watch other videos that I also did for mathematical literacy. See you next time, guys. Thank you so much.